Now, wait a minute. Anyone can pull it once it's been pulled. You must put your feet into it. During the election campaign, the Labour, the... Order, order, order. Mr. Hazeltine, please. Order. During the Labour Party's election campaign, the Labour Party's school spokesman gave an assurance the children with assisted places, which go up to the age of 13, would be able to keep those places when the scheme is abolished. Can the Prime Minister confirm that that is the policy of Her Majesty's Government? Uh, yes, Madam Speaker, the right on gentleman is quite right to raise this, and I hope the answer I give him will give him some satisfaction. The position, as he knows, is this. The vast majority of children on the assisted places scheme are there for secondary education between the ages of 11 and 18. He will know also that prior to the general election, his government introduced assisted places also for those in primary schools as well. In respect of those that are in primary schools up to the age of 11, there is under the bill an automatic right for the assisted places to continue all the way through the schooling. In respect of those between the ages of 11 and 13, there is a discretion on the part of the Secretary of State. The Secretary of State has already made it clear that in respect of those, it, he has already made it clear that in respect of those between the ages of 11 and 13, where the normal school leaving age in that particular area is exceptionally the age of 12 or 13, then they will be protected as well. He's also made it clear that for ch school children between the ages, just wait for it, between the ages of 10 to 13 in the middle schools, they in addition will be protected. In respect of the subject matter that was raised in the debate last night, those children that come in aged four or five, then the Secretary of State will make it clear today that of course those children, he will exercise his discretion in respect of those children, provided they have been given a promise or an understanding that their assisted place will go all the way through to 13. Mr. Hazeltine. The, the Prime Minister has outlined a range of discretion in respect of the powers of the Secretary of State for Education for children between the ages of 11 and 13. During the course of the election campaign, a letter was written by the Honourable Member for Liverpool Walton, the Shadow Minister for Schools, and I quote to the House, if a child has a place at a school which runs to age 13, then that place will be honoured through to 13. There was no reference to discretion. It was a right. Madam Speaker, let me explain to the right honourable gentleman why it is necessary to have a discretion. In respect of those children who have been given, as I say, a promise or an understanding that they will go through to the age of 13, that, of course, as was indicated by the letter, must be honoured. But there may be children in the position where they were not given a promise or understanding, and it's important in order to prevent abuse of this system that we do not end up with taxpayers' money being spent subsidising private school fees between the ages of 11 and 13, where no such promise or understanding was given to the parents concerned. In respect, however, of those children... In respect of those children for which an assurance was given, that assurance will be honoured. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Hazeltine. The fact of the matter is that no question of discretion was mentioned during the election yeah. campaign. Yeah. Yeah. A quite specific commitment was given and the government is reneging on that commitment. Yeah. The fact is, Madam Speaker, is that last week the Prime Minister didn't know the difference between a bill and a white paper. This year he doesn't know the difference between the age 11 and 13 and everyone will remember that in the election he said that they would honour their specific pledges or they would not be trusted. Already it is obvious this government cannot be trusted. Yeah. Uh, Madam Speaker, all I, I mean, all I can say to the right honourable gentleman, if that was a late leadership bid I think it would be an unsuccessful one. I, 
First of all, if I can just put him right, I have made it clear. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, but I have actually made it clear that the assurance that is given will be honoured. It is important that there is a discretionary element because we must avoid abuse of the system. If, if in fact no promise had been given that the schooling would extend to 13, it would mean that two years' worth of taxpayers' money was being given to a child where no such assurance had been given. And if I may just point this out to honourable members opposite, because they have been attempting, I don't say in respect of this, but in respect of other things, they've been attempting to delay this legislation as much as they possibly can. And let me explain to them why it is necessary. It is necessary because people should have a perfect right to send their children to private school if they wish, but taxpayers' money shouldn't be used to subsidise it. <laughs> taxpayers' money should be used for the state education system and in respect of that money, we are going to use it to cut class sizes for the five, six and seven-year-olds within our state education system. And I believe that their refusal to understand the importance of that is yet another reason why they lost the election. Yeah.